Welcome to the National Queen's Choice Online News saying hi for the Hayatans around the world and uh, I'm now at the Marina Bay Sands here in Singapore with uh, Chef uh, Christopher Christine and he's going to talk to us more about uh, his new book, uh, The Broken Path. Um, Chef Christopher, welcome to our show. Thank you, and, thank you for having me. Uh, you know, uh, how's life? Great, can't complain. Yeah. You know, Enjoying it. Now, about your book, you know, The Broken Path, may I ask, though, what was your personal uh, inspiration behind it? I just wanted to write a story, a fictional story about a chef. I have, I, I, I read quite a bit, and I had never come across a novel that was based on a chef's life that was true to, to what I've experienced. And so I just decided that I want to expose that side of our lives to the general public. Ah, now, when you wrote that, and now that's been released to the public today, you know, uh, what's what kind of feedback have you, have you received so far? Uh, the feedback that I'm getting has been really positive. The, the comments generally are that you know that they think it's it's an interesting life, that they think it was an interesting read, that it was great uh -huh. to learn the, the intricacies about what really goes on of making of a restaurant, especially the opening of a restaurant, and uh, how you deal with those challenges that come up. Huh. And, and so, no, speaking of that, uh, does your book today, right now, you know, while it's sold in the public, has encouraged more people and realized that. Uh, that being a chef is, is kind of like one of the great jobs, perhaps a glamorous job, but also a very challenging one as well. Yes, I've had those comments, yeah, yeah okay. definitely, that it's, they realize that it's challenging. Okay. Yeah, I think I depicted it a true to life more. Now, you are the executive chef for the Marino Bay Sands. Do you receive any comments from people who want to, to be a chef like you? Do they want to get into your job as well now that your, your book is out? <laughs> I, don't know if the, I don't know if the books influence that, but I get those comments, yeah. But I don't know if it's from the book. Or... Now, now, while writing this book, you know, it brought you uh, I mean, tremendous memories and, and uh, perhaps some painful, painful ones as well. Um, is, there, is there one focus in your life that you have not regretted? Uh, being a chef, but something that has fulfilled you, you know, in inspiring uh, others and yourself. Yeah, I, I have no regrets in my life. Um, I am absolutely amazed to this day uh, how far you know my life has gone in, in a positive direction because of being a chef. I think that being a chef has opened up doors, taking me around the world, and uh, I have loved every minute of it. It's been a fantastic. Journey, and, and I think that anyone is lucky to be able to experience it in terms of choosing a profession. Now, choosing this profession, how, how does your family think about it? Were they very supportive? Uh, at the beginning, you know, a number of years ago, I would say they, they weren't necessarily supportive because they probably didn't fully understand what, what the job entailed and what the potential was. Even I didn't understand what the potential was. So um, maybe at the beginning there was a little, little bit of pushback from them, but it didn't take long for them to. Uh, to get on board and it's been nothing but support ever since. Now, when you get on uh, on this uh, journey for the first time, what were the those potential issues that you didn't expect? Uh, in terms of working in the kitchen and being a chef? Um, I guess the hardest part at the beginning was to try to build some discipline. You know, when you're younger, discipline is not necessarily part of your, your character. Something that, that grows on you as you get older, and, and you realize later that you, the discipline, the quicker you can develop the discipline within yourself, the easier life is to deal with in, in terms of your profession and day to day life. You, know, you, you need to have the discipline to be able to continue pursuing your goals, to pursuing your dreams. And today, you know, what is your biggest challenge ahead? My biggest challenge ahead? Oh, that's a really good question. Um, Maybe completing my second novel will be my biggest challenge. <laughs> um, I got a great job. I, I love what I do. I really miss it. I would be anywhere else in the world. Yeah, at this moment. So. Because you oversee a team of 400, uh, you know, personnel for 43 kitchens, right. uh, serving an average of about 15,000 meals a day. Right. So that's what they say. Uh, wow. I mean, so. What advice would you give for others you know, who aspire uh, to be who you are today and the Marina Bay Sands? You know, um, is there any uh, advice? What, 
work hard. Um, hopefully you'll find a passion like I found in it when I was young. And, and if you can, recognize that passion and, and go with it and just build that discipline and never give up. Just keep going forward. As long as you have that passion and this is really, you know in your heart that this is really what you want to do, then just keep going forward. Now, speak about keeping going and having the perseverance, you know. How do you balance a love life and I mean, family life, that is, and your, and your career? A good thing you said family life and not love life. It's a different story. <laughs> um, family life and, you, you know, it's always challenging. I think any time you, you work uh, in a demanding job, it's always challenging to, to make sure you're spending enough time with your family. Um, and in this profession, it's not easy. We work long hours. We work days, we work nights, we work mornings, and we work on public holidays, and we work over Christmas. But the truth is we find a time, we make the time. And generally our families will let us know when, when we're not giving them as much time as we should. And it's, it's awakening and you know, we, we make sure that we find the time. And that's goes the same for well, chefs who have the girlfriends and all that kind of thing. Correct. Correct. Yeah. It must be very challenging for your characters in your book, uh, you know, <laughs> The Broken Path, you know, to try to understand uh, how their boyfriends are trying to get along uh, with their time schedule and so forth. True. There's always an adjustment period, I think, in any new relationship. Yeah. Would you create... <laughs> I have to ask this. Would you create a female chef character in your next book? Uh, already done, to be honest. Oh, you did then? Yeah. Oh. The, yeah, the, there's two dynamics happening in the next book, but one character is female. And, and she's a chef. Oh, okay. So it's about a woman now having a boyfriend who's not a chef. Uh, I'm not going to give away the story. <laughs> Okay, so so what lessons have you learned after writing this book? You know, is uh, was that a, a, was there a sense of, of reflection, or was it something that uh, you wanted to give uh, others a chance to understand some insights of how you felt? Yeah, originally my my intent really was first to try to write it all, you know, from start to finish, but. I wanted to, I really wanted to expose a three-dimensional view of a chef's life. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that, that people who were reading the book saw that there was this family life in the background, that there were, you know, there was a drive that propels us out of bed in the morning, that, that keeps us awake late at night, that we love what we do. And I just wanted, I wanted to, to show regular people who don't work in the, the industry that, you know, being a chef isn't what you necessarily see on TV. It, 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 is, a, it, it is a big job, but it's a job of so one, one question that is, you know, many ask, uh, being a chef is one, one of the greatest jobs in, in a hotel, but have you ever faced a challenge where uh, your client, or perhaps, uh, perhaps even the management, you know, uh, tries to have some uh, some form some form of relationship, uh, which is which is could be a compromise to your work or even your family life. Have you, have you faced that? And how did you overcome it? In, you mean pressure to do something I don't necessarily want to do? Uh, no, I mean pressures in like some management uh, staff may fall in love with you or some sort. Oh no, no, I've never, I've never. <laughs> That hasn't happened to me. Um, I think you learn when you're when you're starting this industry. It's really best to separate your personal life from, from your business life. Yeah. And, and are you going to have that in your next book? In my next book, um, there's a crossover, um, but the crossover is an interesting one. And again, I don't want to give away too much about it. But these two individuals have a working relationship, but it's not necessarily in the same building. Well, Chef, thank you for sharing with us uh, you know, on your exploration of your book. Yeah. Once again, uh, thank you for joining us here at the National Queen's Toys uh, saying hi. Uh, I'm Robin Steinberg and have a great week here.